Okay, folks, what we got going on here, we're going to try to take this, something in this set right here, and we're going to try to get our, it says sound bar, TV, cable, so it's a 3.5, it's got a lot of, few gadgets in it, and what we're aiming for get our sound bar extension here. We need to get um, need the cable to get a little bit better extension here. So I'm going to show you what we're doing. Okay folks, this is what we got here. We've got uh, a long cable here. We've got a 3.5 here. And it's got a female in here. And that's what I need. This also comes with a male connector here and a two-sided female connector here. And it also comes with this. So, um, and that's what was in this box here. Bought it at Walmart. And that there, if you, that's the information on it. And so we're going to try to. Alright, what we got here, I got a lot of stuff going on on this dash here. Got some connectors up here all this but I got my Sirius XM external radio my other one's down here but I don't have an antenna for it it's it's hard to find an antenna for that so I got this one up here and what I was trying to do is right here on this little wire right here that's coming down right here I got it hooked to the radio down here in the 3.5 headset connect right here I got it connected here and it's going into the 3.5 here now also I have coming out of this right here is this right here the three point I mean the you know it's a two point deal um, I'll show you here what I'm talking about. You flip this upside down here and trying to get so you can see right here's a 3.5 where it plugs in at. That's what I have plugged into the radio and then the power port's over here on this side. Um, right there's the power port and then that right there is for FM like a transmitter or whatever. Uh, FM right there so what I'm trying to do at the present time is get my get my um, cord here that I've got right here this cord here I want to get it plugged up to my surround sound that's up here now what I do with my surround sound, it's above this door here. And what I do with it, I'll just lay it down here like this, right here, and just let it set up like this, and then the, the noise will boom up this way. And I got it plugged up. I got it plugged up over here. Uh, back here in the bunk. So, I got my war running here. So I got my war right here that's coming from the, the um, surround sound. So we're gonna see what we can do with this. 
and what we just done was we just plugged up my surround sound my surround sound came with this wire here and AV connection and so and then it had this uh, 3.5 connector uh, female this is male here this is female here these plugged up into there and then I take the 3.5 and plug it up over here in the splitter now the way this works is when I turn this when I turn my surround sound on and turn my radio down here on now the only thing that I can get come out of my radio along with this here is when this right here when the radio is in uh, front auxiliary which is the front auxiliary if you put a DVD in it's not gonna anything other than front auxiliary option on this it's not gonna it's not gonna play through the surround sound because I don't have no way to connect this radio up to the surround sound but um, I can plug this up into here put it on the front auxiliary and then I can play whatever in here it'll play also here and then it turn it up I can right here on my st uh, steering wheel this right here your volume up volume down and I can siphon through here on my radio but I can turn it up and down here and that there's a pause my radio this radio here has no effect on this one but whenever I have this hooked to this I can I can turn it up and down here so what we're gonna do we're gonna turn this on and see what we're gonna get all right we're fixing to turn my surround sound on which here is my remote and I just point it up there riding the wave of contemporary jazz so much to work watercolors I ain't trying to advertise nothing different options turn up the bass that's strong enough for here and so it works and that's what I'm looking for so it works and I'm glad well folks if you like this thumbs up and I'm glad I got it going. Y'all have a blessed day now. Okay, folks, there was one other thing I wanted to show you about this uh, connection deal I got going on here. And what I did here, I, I run my wire over through here, and I went up right over there. I use them pencil holder deals, like these right here. I don't know if you can see them too good. Them right there, I said pencil deals that you put a pencil in and uh, get them stationary. But anyway, I use them putting wires up. I got one there, one there, and I got my wire running across the dash here, going up through there. It goes above my door there, so it won't get in the way of my curtain over there. But anyway, what I got going on here with this is um, with all these different connections, with the three connections here, you know, the three that's here, the connection that's there, and then up there in the top with the connections, I was having, I'm going to show you. Now, I just turned my on but I'm gonna turn it up hear that buzzing noise I want to show you what the problem is what I found what that buzzing noise is All right, what we got going on here you didn't notice here I got a lot of wires hooked up here but this one here is what's coming from 
the radio here. Keep the curtain out of the way. So if I unplug this, unplug that, right there, and I'm unplugging this three piece deal here. Unplug the three piece deal right there and I just go straight with the wire that's coming from the front it's gonna sound a little rough but so you don't hear it now just barely Turn it way up higher. And a lot of times if you come right here, what's happening is if the wire's not pushed in all the way, if you got them pushed in all the way, it's not so bad. But with all the splits, it really sounds bad. So, you know, the less splits you got, the better off you are. And see, so you can hear that noise coming out of it. You know, that real, real bad noise coming out of it. So, what we got going on here is this is my curtain to my bunk back here. So you undo that, and with that still that way, we're just going to turn it off. Now, I want to show you something here on this thing, okay? I'm gonna hook my TV up to it. Like I said, I'm not trying to advertise anything here, but I got a Superman movie in here. And um, so it's trying to come on. I'm gonna click it on. Got the wire hanging here. See, this right here's the wire here. So that's the wire coming from the front up there. And this wire right here is to one so this right here is this part this is a three piece this right here is the wire here coming from the front so what I'm going to do is take this three piece deal here plug it in here make sure it snaps in real good Cause if you don't, you'll get some racket. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plug this part right here into this. Just like so. Trying to do all this with one hand. Make sure it snaps in good. You know, make sure it snaps in good. Now, what we're going to do is turn our surround sound on. Now, if you notice, you still got some buzzing going on. So, what I recommend is doing away with a three piece and plug the TV straight in to the wires coming from the front. Right now. Got my, got my movie going. But if you notice, you can still hear a lot of noise if you turn the TV off. So what happens is it don't sound so bad when you got TV going. But once you take this plug here and then plug the one that's going to the TV, it's still 
real bad. Here, hear that? I'm gonna turn that down. But it's, you know, once you take that, um, once you break all this off here, and you pull this, we're gonna turn this off. And then you take, unplug this third gadget here. And if you took this whole deal right here, if you just took the one that's coming from the front up there, plug it straight in. Plug it straight into the speaker right there. And then come around over here, turn on. Turn on in a minute. Everything up here is on. And then it should come on now. The cord got a little pushed out. And I'll turn my surround sound on now. See? You don't hear no buzzing. So the less connections you got, the better off you are. It's clear. And the less connections, you don't have as much break up in it. So what you can do is turn it up. It gets really loud. It's got just a little bit of fuzz in it. That's because I got you know a split here. If I didn't have no split in it, it wouldn't do that at all. You know, if I could just run the core straight from the box up there, the uh, the sound bar straight to this or straight to the TV, you wouldn't have no sound at all. You wouldn't have, you'd hear it just clear as clear as a bell. So I'm just trying to give a little extra there. Uh, if you can find a way to plug it straight up, which I can't at the at the moment, I don't. My cord's not long enough for the cord to stay out of the way and out of the way and everything. So the little buzz is not going to bother me, because I can override it with the radio down here. Um, turn the sound up dead, because that's the reason why I got the split. If it wasn't for that, uh, I could plug that cord, bypass the the split here plug the cord that's going up there to it straight into here and it wouldn't even have that buzz at all so that's a good thing but anyway um, just trying to help you to be able to just connect your sound bar straight to the device that you want if I could Bluetooth this up there be great but um, you know it, it would sound great but other than that it's you know it gets real difficult trying to Bluetooth stuff. I, I got a Bluetooth connector, but you know, um, it's hard to Bluetooth things um, like I want. And some devices don't work with Bluetooth. And um, especially with um, coming out of a 3.5 adapter, headset adapter. Folks, that's all for this. Y'all have a blessed day. Okay, folks, I wanted to show you something here. I've got a uh, Bluetooth gadget here. 3.5. I'll show you here. A little bit better than the light. It's an MS. And... Got, it's got an extra plug-in right there, 3.5 plug-in. This right here is the information on it, Bluetooth, TV, Nongi TV. I can plug my TV up into it, whatever. What you do is 
on this little I should own an off button. What you do is you push it in. That turns it off. Also you got a plug in right there too. That's a mini that's a mini um, plug in right there. So what you do is you hold it in and then when it starts flashing then you can connect to your Bluetooth. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plug it in my three piece wire right here cause it won't fit. So what I'm gonna do is hang it down right there. So if I turn my radio on up here, I mean my I can take right here. If you notice, right here is the wire. Right here, it's going to the wire up front, so it's not even plugged up. Cause I got it right here. The two wires here. I don't have really good light in here, but I'll show you here. See, right here is a three-piece wire. I can get this thing to do right. Right there's the wire there, it's going to the radio. And then this one here has the gadget in it. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do. See, it gets loud even with the. The three point. With the uh, Bluetooth in it, so it does good with Bluetooth. Now, what I'm gonna do here? I got my radio on, so I'm gonna turn it up. Time to turn this up. I can have it jamming on in here. Oh, oh that sound good. You see, I can come right here. This time here. But see, that's the way that works. I don't know why this right here don't work no more. It normally works, but something's wrong with it or something. Coming all loose or something in there. I don't know what's going on with it. Have to check it out and get the company to check it out for me but anyway that's how that works i got my bluetooth hooked up and i don't even need no wires what do you think about that <laughs> pretty good huh and don't have no buzzing whatsoever when you hook bluetooth get you one of them ms one of them little uh dongy things here one of these little gadgets right here plug it right up and you still plug something up over here on this side that's a three point so there you are well folks that's all for this video i hope you enjoyed it i have a blessed day now well folks if you like this kind of video thumbs up share and subscribe Thanks for watching my channel, and more's on the way. Have a 
ਪਲੱਸ ਦਾ ਹੀ ਨਾਮ 